All right, I, I want to sort of generalize this a little bit more and go to um, a conversation that I hear in my newsroom, and I bet you uh, uh, that others will, you know, there'll be a report about a trial, a drug trial that might work on a specific cancer. And it's something that is a, you know, a fairly common cancer or something that we know a lot of people have. And first of all, there's the decision to report so um, about whether to do that. So Jennifer, starting, starting with you on this, you know, what is your threshold for when you should report on a, on, a, on a trial that's just starting to work and when should we put it on air? You know, that, that's a perfect example of something that interests me as a physician, but if I have to go in front of the camera and say, I think that everyone watching really is going to care about this, I usually come down on, I, I, don't, I don't think we should do it. If, you know, How because, often have you been able to kill those stories? Um, maybe 50% of the time. Yeah. And my, my argument to, because it doesn't rest with me, as, as you know, I mean, oh, I, I can know. weigh in, but is... Tried, uh, yeah, you've probably tried to, how often have you had to do stories that you try to kill and you still to do it? Um, I can say that in seven years of covering medical news on television, it, on probably I can count on one hand how many times I really had to do something that, that I was against. Um, but the reason, the reason that I will try to, to not have a story like that um, you know, be the lead on world news is it comes down to the Angelina Jolie patient in my office example, which is that I am always acutely aware that there will be people listening who may be suffering or living with that type of cancer and they, they will have the immediate reaction, this is going to help me. And no, actually it's not. It's being done in mice right now or it's in, you know, phase one clinical right. trials and what, 3% of the patients living with cancer are eligible for that. You know, so, so something that can affect that few people when so many in the denominator will have more harm than good come from it, it's the same principle that governs the practice of medicine. Do no harm. And I think that oftentimes doing those stories does harm. Douglas, how do we do on this? Well, I, I would have to say around ASCO time, you do pretty well, uh, <laughs> being a former president, and there is the ASCO effect on a lot of things that has been noticed. We at ASCO have taken a fair amount of interest in trying to work and educate uh, the media that we know are going to present uh, and look for stories around a 28,000 person international cancer meeting uh, that takes place e predictably every year. Now, having said that, um, I agree with Jennifer. It's, it's hard to uh, be across the table from somebody who's gotten a phone call the night before and said, you know, we just read about something or heard about something. Um, can, how, can you help me? And, and it, in our equivalent of a newsroom, we make fun of the mouse doctors who uh, uh, make who cure mice but don't oh. uh, do uh, people. Oh, I thought you meant mouse doctors, people that find oh. it clicking. Well, we have. It's another way of probably <laughs> talking about it, right? Yeah, those are I, like those, me. We're those, the amateur mouse doctors. Hey, I just read this. They treat eye pa uh, mouse. Those mouse doctors treat eye patients. But the right. the, the point is that um, it it, uh, it do no harm. Uh, we are making strides against cancer. We do cure more uh, people every year that I've seen. I think the big thing that I look back on in 1986 when uh, Happy uh, Rockefeller and Betty Ford announced to the world that they had breast cancer. It gave women permission to go to mostly male doctors at that time and say, you know, doc, I'm really worried about this lump on my breast. And the, the, in my career, the number of women that I've seen with uh, advanced, ugly, fungating breast cancer has really dropped. So the media and telling a story like that, I think, is, uh, is something that we all should learn from. Hey, go ahead, Joel. One, one of our favorite year-ender stories at the NPR Science Desk is called The Year in Mice. <laughs> and it, I mean, it's serious, but it's one of the ways to make the point that there are an awful lot of studies that just have advances in mice. Uh, Elmer, how, uh, what about how well does the media uh, warn of risks? 
whether, forget the new trial, but a new drug that's out uh, that is being approved, that is being used. Uh, do we do enough of that? Do we, do we talk about the risks enough? Uh, I think we do. I think the media in general, they, they do talk about the risks, the risks, but sometimes what we fail is in putting in perspective the specific news. For example, um, I got phone calls from the producers at the CNN in Espanol, I work with them, saying, Dr. Warta, listen, this study is showing us that uh, lung, cancers, lung cancer patients, they have 55% more survival. This is great. 55 related to what? So when we go to the numbers with the producers, they say, oh, okay, okay. So I think we need to, these talks that we, in the media, it's a group of people. It's not only the talent, it's, only, it's of course the producers, it's the whole group that needs to put in perspective the news. In my opinion, it's, uh, we need to create maybe in the United States a national health education program through the media to be broadcasting many different platforms, but not only on cancer, but also on heart disease, on HIV. I think we need public health education in the country. There is an NPR, there is this great show I listen when I go home every night at 9 p.m. about the stars, Stars Watch. When you listen to that every day, you really learn about Jupiter and the moon. But you know what? I haven't heard a single show on health on a daily basis. So we need to produce shows that are daily, like weather, like sports, that are comprehensive, meaning that is not only cancer, but all sorts of medical issues that are multimedia and they are free of commercialism.